And where are we streaming at? We're going to be streaming on YouTube and Instagram. What? Okay, cool. So that one's live. Now we're going to actually launch it on the grams. And yeah, it looks like we're live. So let me start this. Welcome to Photography Chat with Merlin. Photography Chat with Merlin. <laughs> Hello. I miss you so much, Dan. I miss it's you too. Um, <sighs> welcome to Photography Chat. We're back again. It's been a while. Um, yeah, last year was kind of a fucking weird year, and I didn't do a lot of things. But um, okay. you know, now now I'm back, and uh, we've got Lauren joining us for uh, you know the inaugural actual real fourth season chat so um i'll i'll let you take a second to uh introduce yourself to uh the internet there hello internet it's me my name is lauren um i also go by low um or you may know me on social media i guess i don't know as cool pero like um yeah i shoot film sometimes i hang out with my dog sometimes um you, sh you, should, sure. you should introduce everyone to Timmy. Oh, Timmy, do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. If you haven't met Timmy yet, you're about to. This is Timmy. Oh, good burp. Okay, thank you. This is my sweet Timmy boy. Little cuddle bug. He decided to come help me. Yeah. He's so good. Oh, what a sweet boy. The sweetest. So, you already, did you introduce yourself already? I already lost yeah. track of what we're doing. Yeah. Are you not paying attention to me? <laughs> you hate me? No, what? What? No, I don't hate you. You're amazing. Fine. Thanks. Um, oh, actually, sorry. Yes. I thought Talk about my me. question. What is a cool peril like? What is a? Yeah, I've always been curious about your username. Oh, okay. So it's just uh, P E R O, that word is Spanish for butt, like not your gluteus maximus butt, <laughs> but that word. Um, so okay. cool, but like, cool, but like, I don't know. It was just like so random one day. I just thought of it and I was like, that's cool. So but I'm like, gonna, I'm just gonna use it. But like, you know, <laughs> so I don't know. It just has stuck for years, and I've never changed it. I don't know. That's fair. Now I, and now I can't. So you know. Well, I mean, you could if you really, you can do anything you want. I'm now taking submissions. What do people want my username to be? Let's go. I'm just kidding. Don't do oh, that. Well, that's dangerous. You don't want to do that. We don't want that. <laughs> that, was, that was a joke. I think that that would be that'd be a little sketchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So. There's some cool stuff you've got going on. I don't know if you want to take a moment to like tell people about that. Okay. I would love to. Some of you know some of these things. Some of these are brand new information, but I have a lot going on. I literally, y'all, my brain is full to the brim. And I had to write down everything I have going on because or else I would forget. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> um, first things first, I was just chatting with my friend Mikhail um, and he runs this really cool film Instagram account like that just like online zine feature type account um, called Street Honey and we were chatting and he jokingly kind of said like oh do you want to help me run it do you want to take it over for a second and I was like yeah obviously I want to help you out like you're the homie I got you and he was being so serious and so now I'm helping him run that and it's been really cool, really fun. Met some really kind, awesome people and seen some really cool work. 
Um, so yeah, I'm basically just running that for now until he's back and then we'll both be sharing that duty. Woo. That's, That's a lot. <laughs> and you have a show coming up. I do. That's the next thing. I have my very first solo gallery exhibition, whatever you want to call it, um, next month, next um, February 24th. It's like four days before my birthday. So I'm also like combining it in and making it partially like a birthday celebration too. So if y'all want to come, come hang out with me, celebrate. Uh, yeah, come on, let's go. So this is, is this your first solo show or is this your first show ever? First solo show. So I've been, I was in a collaborative show um, last year in San Jose with a lot of really talented people um, in, I think it was in Japantown in San Jose. Yeah, but it was, it was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, a big community event, like all the shops along that row were like doing something that night and then one place had like a bunch of photographers had their gallery up it was it was just really cute i loved it but this is my first cool. on my own that's awesome yeah. so what got you started with with like getting into like photography and like this journey that's led you to now dang um that is a great question um i think i've always been kind of like mildly interested in it when i was a kid growing up um in san jose uh, my parents had a bunch of old film things like Polaroid cameras and whatnot, like literally original from the seventies. Um, oh my gosh. What was that one called? Man, I can't remember. It's, um, it's gray and blue and I'm literally going to remember it as soon as we get off this, but, um, blue. it was like gray and blue. It had like rubber bits to it. Um, took 600 film. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, impulse, it, impulse. It, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. The impulse autofocus, that one. Um, and like, it, they were still rocking it, and I was like, "This is really cool. I'm a kid. I want to play around with this little toy." So I've always been really interested in like the instant photography. And then soon after, I discovered instant photography. The digital age was like booming, so all was kind of lost for a little bit. Um. And then I did do digital photography for a while, like my, um, I think in 2009, I got my first digital camera. And so I was kind of just shooting around, been doing um, like product shots and modeling shots for a while. Um, but then I was like, some, I don't know, something is like not fulfilling me about this. And I kind of want to go back to film. I don't know, my brain was just like, maybe this will be cooler, more fun. I don't know. And then... I got, I inherited a couple of film cameras from my grandpa and I was like, you know what? I should put these to good use. Didn't, bought another one and <laughs> um, I was using that instead. And then ever since then, I've just been collecting and collecting and not stopping. And just, <laughs> now I have this one, oh, you see my little Bronica that I'm borrowing indefinitely Ooh. from my friend, JP. What's um, uh, your Bronica? Bronica, what about it, huh? What what kind of Bronica? Bronica, the ETRS. Oh, so the 645. Yeah. The 645, yeah. She's nice. So yeah, moving up to medium format. I've been doing a lot of large format lately. Just kind of dabbling in everything. And now I just can't stop. So yeah. I mean, large format is a good time. It's a good time. It's an expensive time, but it's a good time. Oh my god. It's yeah. It, I yeah, it's not cheap. You get it. <laughs> yeah, well, and, like I kind of spend too much money with it because I'm too lazy to actually shoot eight by ten film, so I only do eight by ten Polaroid, which is like, you know, you only do that if you hate money. Yeah, and you just want to throw it away. Yeah, but the yellow. Have you played with the yellow yet? No, I haven't. It's so nice. It's so okay. pretty. Um, I might actually. I'm like, do you have any? Did they only make that for eight by ten, or these are, these are a bunch of eight by tens I've shot in the last little bit? But um, where is it? Oh yeah, look at this one. Oh my god, it's like the duochrome. Yeah, it's a duochrome but yellow. Eight by ten. Oh, that's yeah. so sick. So big, and then oh, cool. 
yeah, I fucked up on this one, but I actually kind of like how it turned out. It was supposed to be like a shot of me and my friend, but well, I kind of um, like it. Well, I thought I was gonna be here. Yeah, but, but because everything is backward and upside down, I yeah. ended up here over there. So, I kind of oh fucked up, but I sort of like how it, it turned out where, um, you know, I'm just only Love partially it. there. Lots of negative space. It's like you meant to do it. It's artistic, you know? Yeah. I also look sort of like just fumed. I'm like, oh, fuck. Why do I keep fucking everything up? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's perfect, you know? It's so good. And then at some point they changed from the black envelopes to these sort of like brown envelopes. Yeah, I was going to say I thought they were like a, a black or a grayish. Yeah, I'd like to know the story one day about that, you know, because mm. yeah, here's here's some old ones that are the black. See, exactly. can't remember hmm. what this is. I have questions. What are your questions? Just why? Oh, this is a cool one. This why was, did they do that? This was in Portland. Yes. This is my friend Jamie. She's awesome. She's a badass. Whoa, I met, I met her through Brian. Yeah. Yeah. That checks out. She's badass. He's also doing the the eight by ten big boys. Oh, he's, well, he's been like a legendary eight by ten guy. You know exactly. He's, like, he's an OG. The OG. So, what's your favorite camera right now? Other than What's the bronze. favorite. You know what? Other than the bronze, I know she doesn't count. She's just <laughs> always going to be the favorite. Um, man, that's tough. It's, I think it's a toss up right now. So I was going to say my SX70 sonar that has the Sailor Moon skin on it. You've seen that one before. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love that one. It's Gorgiana. Yeah. Um, either that one or. My lovely friend and coworker Gregory just got me a Nikon F3 because mm. I got my Canon A1 stolen last almost a year ago now, oh. and I've just been like, not that it was like the greatest camera ever, but it was just I bought it for me on my birthday like the year before, and it was just like very sentimental, and I was like used to it and it was just so much fun and then I was sad that I didn't have it and Gregory's always looking out so he upgraded me to a to an F3 so I, I'm loving it it's sick well now you have a real camera because like you know sorry what's up you, now you have a real camera because you know like mm. on cannons mm. <laughs> <You're not wrong. laughs> I, I've been a Nikon boy for a while and I just picked up, like, we were talking about this on Instagrams, but I just picked up, like, one of my dream Nikons. Unfortunately, it's not here because yes. I've been traveling all this week, and I got, I just got back from Calgary this afternoon, went straight to a work lunch, and then went straight from the work lunch to my studio to figure out how to get all this fucking set up before jumping on with you, so I haven't even been home yet. But th this is my, like, favorite Nikon. Yes! Yeah. You were showing me that one, right? Is that the one you were showing me? No, I'm showing you the F6. That's the new one. F6. That's the yeah. new guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't have a name for him yet. Yeah, I got it. It'll come to you. It'll come to you. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, we'll get there. Dan had a question, though. Um, what is... I feel like Dan? Yes, I feel like Dan. Yeah. Hi, Dan. I feel like I'm special because he's here with us. Same. Um, I'm honored. He wants to know... What's your favorite photo that you've taken, if you have one? That's such a rigged question, Dan. That's so difficult. Um, favorite photo I've ever taken. Oh, my God. How does one pick? How do you? Pick. Okay, wait. Can I reference my own photos real quick? <laughs> I, th I think that's what he's talking about, though. You need to pick okay. your, your favorite photo that you've taken. I know. I'm just like, I don't... That's hard. There's so many good ones that are, like, personal for me that all have different reasons that they're so good to me. Ah, oh, okay. Hold on. Please hold. Um, 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 um. It's a tough one. 
it's so tough and like for what reason is it my favorite you know what I mean like oh my god it's so hard Dan, you put me on the spot I can't believe you okay um I think one of them at least it's in it's definitely in the top like three is this one right here Ooh. um right. it's of my friends sean and luke and they are modeling some incredible pieces that my partner made um and it's using like annabelle from the philippines that he sewed himself and like this whole thing was from a bunch of denim pants that his friends gave him his uncle made the apron he made the pants like it's very much highlighting him as an artist and then also highlighting my two friends as one of them being filipino so it was like very mm -hmm. important to have him there and then my other friend is in fashion as well and he models and styles and stuff and so just having them two together and then i just collabed with so many people on that project and it was so much fun and very meaningful and i don't i don't know i just think it was just a fun little like a little shot it just made me really happy as soon as i took it i was like that's gonna be the shot you know when you know the shot's gonna be good yeah, yeah. that's how i felt so i think that's as of right now that's like my favorite shot yeah that's it's pretty that's it's a nice shot and it's a great story it is i can't tell it as well as he can because like there's a whole history and like meaning behind everything but i'd rather him explain it than me i'm gonna try something here and see if this works i okay, don't try know it. if it's gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna show to let's see oh oh it's not gonna let me do it whatever um I'm just not going to share my favorite photo then. <laughs> no, you have to. I have to? Well, okay. Let me see if I can find one that's on my okay. phone. Um, what would your desert island camera be? Desert island camera. I'm like looking up at my shelf. Um, do I have an unlimited supply of film for said yeah. camera okay yeah. okay good to know good to know um i would have to say my sx70 because it's instant photos i can have them right then and there because if it's a deserted island is there a film lab or a way to develop film i don't know so i'm gonna go and be safe with it and do my sx70 now, does your excess excess talk to me? Does your SX seventy <laughs> shoot SX seventy film, or does it shoot six hundred? Six hundred. Okay, someone was asking that earlier, so oh, okay, just needed to yeah. answer that. I just that. got it converted, so it was SX seventy before. Just had her converted. Loving it. It's been very helpful in low light situations. I think this might be one of my favorites because it's like this this is me and my brothers. Mm, so cute. The fam. Yeah. And then this kind of like shows how we all get along. <laughs> Everybody's personality shines through. <laughs> well, so me me and my little brother, the guy on the outside, we're like mm -hmm. we've been super homies like forever. But my middle brother, we have, we've never always really fully gotten along, and that had a lot to do with uh, with my parents, I think. Um, but that's like a whole other thing that you know, is usually best unpacked in therapy. But um, yes. now that we're like getting into our forties, me and my middle brother are trying to like have more of a relationship, and yeah, uh, yeah so we're trying to spend more time together. And uh, here's this is so photography for me. I think started with my mom because she. Uh, she did a lot of 35 mil when I was a kid. Uh, she shot it all with like an AE1. And uh, I still have that. Every once in a while, I'll take it and I'll throw a couple of rolls through it. But here's a great photo of uh, my middle brother, Adam, and my my mom's mom, my Lola. Um, 
in Calgary way oh back. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Yeah. Wait, so. so then when was that from? When was that photo taken? Oh, fuck. That was probably <laughs> 19... Maybe like 1986, 1987. And it, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing a suit. Yes. So when I was a child, our mother made us wear three-piece suits. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, which was fine when we lived in Calgary and I went to a Catholic school. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I had like multiple different suits and I had like black hush puppies and brown hush puppies because you got to have like you know, the right shoes to go with the right suit. And oh, then yeah. we moved to this like tiny white ass town in the middle of the fucking Rocky Mountains. It was like, you know, 4,000 people. And uh, I went to school for like a week in suits and then was just like, uh, we, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> this is not the vibe in this tiny little town. <laughs> Mom, I'm getting bullied. Like, come on. <laughs> this is a crazy. little bit. You know, not only you know, was I did I look weird showing up to school in a three piece like suit in like a redneck town, but uh, we were also like the second colored family that like moved into town. So, yeah, we definitely blended in you know? very, very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> the only other lady was another Filipino lady, but she was a mail order bride. So everyone assumed that my mom was also a mail order bride. And right. uh, that super did not go over well with her because she's a, yeah. you know, she would be like, I will have you know, I am a university mm -hmm. registered nurse. And I was like, oh, fuck. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. You said the wrong thing. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, do you funny. still have any of your grandpa's cameras? I do. Um, they are currently at my dad's house. Um, the only reason I'm not like shooting with them is because there's, something going on with the film advance on one and the shutter on the other and i tried to fix them when i first like was handed them but not i i don't know what the fuck i'm doing so now oh. i need to go grab them and get them cla somewhere because somebody knows how to do it it's just not me but you know plenty of things like look at your Thank thing you. you're a, a jack of all trades jack of all trades Master yeah. of none. Exactly. Well, I mean, right. how's the, the full master. saying go? It's like mm -hmm. um, jack of all trades, master of none. It, it like it puts a positive spin on being a jack of all trades at the end of the whole quote. I can't remember it, but go Google it because that. I like that. <laughs> um, apparently, the Instagram fam is demanding more Timmy. They want to know what Timmy's doing. They want to see more Timmy. This, this might you know, that's fair because Timmy is the real star, if we're being completely honest. I know I'm talking about you. You know your name, huh? <laughs> He's just chilling. He's literally just hanging out next to my leg. He likes to be as close to another human body as possible because we radiate heat and he's like always cold and he's like shivering. So, and you know, the, the chihuahua shakes are real. It's either he's cold or he just, it's because he's a chihuahua. Um, so yeah, yeah, as soon as I, I don't know, I kind of need to know the science behind it, but okay. Martini. I know. Honey. Uh, how old is Timmy? He is turning 10. Uh oh, you stuck? There you go. He's turning 10 in May. 10? He's turning oh. 10. He's an old man, but he's a very old. good boy. He's the sweetest. If you've had the pleasure of meeting Timmy, you know, and if you haven't, hopefully you get too soon. Uh, do you take Timmy to underdog when you go to work sometimes? Oh, I wish. We've actually had a cute little shop dog um, the past week-ish. Um, Jessie's friend needed her to dog sit. Um, and so this cute little chihuahua has been in. Um, her name is Sweetie. Actually, I, I have a picture of her. Of course I do. I'm obsessed right. with dogs. Um, so she's been our cute little shop dog. And she's perfect and sweet in every single way and we love sweetie Aww. that was literally from earlier like maybe like an hour and a half ago and she's so perfect and good yeah that's so awesome oh, i wish i think timmy would be a little too um 
what's the word like um anxious attachment with me mm -hmm. um that if i had to go somewhere else in the building he would just be like where is mom going and i need to follow her immediately and it would be like a panic thing and not like a cute sweet i'm gonna follow mom thing yeah yeah so i would love to bring him but i don't know if it's realistic <laughs> that's fair do you want to do a plug for underdog well well we brought that up when you blah, 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 blah. i don't know if everyone knows like you know what way you do over there oh yeah um i work at a fabulous film lab called underdog we are in west oakland um currently i'm working front desk part-time during monday through friday um we just hired a new guy he's fabulous so i've been kind of teaching him the ropes up front and he's killing it already. So now I'm getting back into like cutting and sleeving film. I uh, just learned scanning and then hopefully soon I will be processing. Ooh. So yeah, just trying to learn it all and, you know, help out where I can. Well, yeah, you, know, you get to work with Jesse. She's awesome. Fuck yeah. You get to work with her every day. Um, yeah. We have the coolest crew of people. Honestly, like my coworkers are sick and my bosses are sick. So, you know, can't complain. That's wicked awesome. Yeah. Um, do you got any other projects you're working on right now? I have so many. I so have many. so many, Merlin. <laughs> so many. My brain is like, I can't. Um, I just finished up a helping PA for a music video that was shot on Super 8 with Ooh. my good friend, Ben Fraternale. Um, it was really, really fun. I uh, can't wait for that to come out. It's That's so cool. Yeah, um, really excited about that. Uh, working on a couple projects that I cannot speak on just yet because they're not fully come to fruition just yet. We're like still in talking stages of that. Um, that I'm really excited about them. Um, I got my gallery. Um, I was just featured in two magazines, one that my friend um, Nora runs. It's called Pomplamoose. Um, it was the alt edition. So it was a couple um, issue of volumes ago, but that one. And then volume two of my friend Adam's zine. Um, he's Cap Street on Instagram. He did the first volume of his uh, zine was who we are and it was this humongous thing that he did like he made an opening night and then closing night and it was just in this big gallery on howard street and it was so cool seeing like all my friends have their work up there and then he reached out to me to be in volume two um i think it's what we love is what it's called um and so yeah it just came out recently we sold out of all the copies immediately so i think we're trying to get some more going um i have a huge job tomorrow too my friend is um i'm assisting for a friend of mine on this huge photo shoot um and he's actually picking me up a little bit later this evening so i can get prepared for that um i'm working for i'm doing like a a photo what is it called like i'm leading some sort of photography class thing for google in march oh holy shit yeah so i'm stoked like there's so much happening and i'm so excited about it all it's like i'm so insanely busy and when i say to people like i'm so sorry i've been so busy i've been so busy <laughs> but it's all good stuff you know so like it's hard to be like stressed or mad because it's all really really fun and cool stuff and i'm just enjoying it it's been so sick <laughs> it's been a great year so far <laughs> we're only in january it's only January. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's it's been such a crazy, uh, crazy year so far. Yeah. Um. Wow. You do have like a whole ton of shit going on. Are Are you yeah. going to be able to like have some time for Policon Bay Area? Hell yeah! I'm right. so stoked. This um will be my second Policon Bay Area. Um. And we got some streets shut down legally this time. So we are going to be 
having lots of fun. Are you coming? Yeah, I, I've got uh, I've got travel booked and uh, yeah. my place booked, so I'm really looking forward to it. Ooh, I'm so excited! It's gonna be yeah, sick. For, for those of you, I'm going to assume most of you like watching right now know about it, but uh, you know, Policon Bay Area is part of the Instant Film Society's like you know trove of events that happen in different uh, cities around the states, you know, ranging from San Francisco to New York and Texas. And it's a celebration of all things instant film. You know, Polaroid and Instax is welcome. Heck yeah. And shout uh, out Instant Film is, Society. Uh, when is it? It's in March. March um, 14th? 16, 17? 15, 16, 17? 15, oh, yeah. Let me check 15, my calendar. 15, yeah. And if we do a day zero, maybe the 15th, but 16, 17, 18, I think is when, no, sorry, 15, 16, 17 for sure. And if we do a day zero, maybe the 14th, I don't know. We'll find out. I, I think there is a day zero. It's an Alcatraz day. I'm in. Say no more. I'm, I'm unfortunately I'm missed the Alcatraz adventures because like I'm not getting there until like mid afternoon. But I'll definitely catch up with you guys when you get back from the rock. Yeah, the floating rock. Yeah. Yeah. That place okay. kind of creeps me when, out. Oh, 100%. And that's why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like really big into um, Ghost Adventures for a really long time, that show. Um, okay. Shoot, I, can't, I think it was on like Hulu or something. I can't remember. And they did an episode on Alcatraz, and it wasn't like it wasn't too crazy, but it still looks spooky at night. I'll tell you what. Wait, do you believe in ghosts? Hell yeah. Have, have you like? Have, have you, you seen, seen me? <laughs> <laughs> I I, <have> seen <laughs> I mean, under flash photography, you do become extremely pale. I know it's like shocking and horrifying. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, it's like real life Casper the ghost, you know. <laughs> At least I'm friendly. I don't know. You you are pretty friendly. Is it racist to say someone looks like Casper when they're white? I don't know. I don't take offense to it. So I know how white I am. Like this shit is you can see my veins. Look at that. Anyway. So I, I just saw this thing recently where like you know the, the aerochrome film, which is like I wish I bought more of it before it got more expensive. But there's like a dude that took um, nude pictures of people with aerochrome and you could see their like veins and shit. It was like really crazy stuff. Like, yeah, because it's how? like, the, well, cause it's like infrared film. So, oh, yeah. Oh my God. Wait. That's spooky. It's That's super really spooky. spooky. Yeah, they looked really cool. It was, it was kind of a, kind of a neat thing. Can you see like all of them, all the veins and arteries Not and all, everything, I mean, or like like it, it depends. Like you know, okay. I don't think it's gonna work with like people that have a lot of melanin, but like you know, for you, right. you'd probably like see right through you with infrared film. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if that would work with um like Rolly infrared and the stuff that's like out now that's like newer. Yeah, it probably would. But it just wouldn't be color because like that was the thing that was cool with the, the aerochrome. With the color, that, yeah. It was color infrared film. Um but apparently if you get a Nikon D eight hundred, you can modify them to shoot infrared. Like you can get them sent off and someone will like, you know alter them so they just shoot an infrared and then you can just like have infinite infrared shooting whoa yeah Spooky. yeah it's on it's on the wish list now it's like you know i don't necessarily ever love one like i don't be like oh my god i want to buy a digital camera but you know, that one i do want to buy yeah that would be sick i support it that would be sick is there do you have a dream camera that you are like 
you know, you think about, you you want to get, but it just feels like it's you just can't quite grab it yet. Um, yeah, there's a couple. <laughs> um, What's your top five? Top five. Oh my gosh. Um, I would say Mamiya Seven. I've just seen some rad photos come from that camera, and I don't know. It sounds pretty cool. Um, I would love to have a Hassi to have the the square and it just the quality of photos that come from that is just next level. I'm just like wow. You know, um, um Veronica also made a really good square camera. That's yeah, you know, maybe just I as, might be converted because I better. love my Veronica. The <laughs> the F Veronica. A series are amazing. I yeah. And Unlike a Bronica, a little, or unlike a, a Hassi, the Bronicas are a little more affordable. True, that is very true. Um, okay, I need to look into that. You, you might have just converted me. Just off of, yeah. just off I, of that I, alone, because I love the Bronica. <laughs> I kind of do that to people sometimes. I'm, I'm a big Bronica boy. Yeah. You know, you get it. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. So those two, maybe now three. Um. What else I've been wanting? I want some sort of four by five to call my own because I've been borrowing Jesse's every now and again to practice. Um, I don't know if I have necessarily a dream four by five, but I like the consistency that I've seen from Graphlex so far. So, Graphlexes are nice. Uh, Wist are also like Wist is what? pretty dope. Oh yeah, yeah. Or Toyos are also pretty nice. You can get like the nice foldy Toyos. Yeah. God. Yeah. And then there's like yeah. wooden Wistas. Those are pretty awesome. The which one? Wista makes a wooden one too. That oh, looks yeah. I know. Oh. I just don't. That was weird. Hey. Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel. Um, please subscribe. Okay. We got Lauren here. And... <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't do it. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, guys? Let me. It's your boy Merlin. I got to get my coffee maker out so I can get some sweet B roll of making coffee. Yeah, exactly, and like the cheesy YouTube music that everybody uses. Yeah, don't sue me, Peter McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, four by five is a lot of fun. It's yeah, I like I like four by five. Um, Pete had a question for you. Pete Green. Pete Madden Jr. Pete Madden Jr. Oh my God, we have so many famous people in the chat right now. I know, right? I, I feel really like a little tiny. I feel blessed. It, yeah, hashtag blessed for sure. Blessed. Um, dream portrait session. Who and why? Oh my god. Dream portrait session. Who and why? God, literally you guys putting me on the spot is so crazy. Um mm, oh my gosh. This is like really hard. I feel like I feel like I should know the answer to this. <laughs> Strawberry Field says it's okay to say Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Sydney, you're right. Um, my dream. Wait, does Pete mean who would I want to shoot? Yes. Who, or who, who would want to shoot, shoot me? Because I don't know. It's I mean, just you, you never know. Way because like you are multi talented, where you can take great photos, and you're also a good person to take photos of. Yeah. You know. Um, gosh, this is really hard. Can I have like five seconds to think about it when we can like talk about other things so I don't look okay? Like a loser. We'll, we'll circle back to this question. Okay, um, sorry, Pete. L Rain Polaroid, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. They want to know do you have a favorite photographer? Um, oh. it's me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's Timmy. I know it's, it's Timmy. Timmy again. Everything comes back to Timmy. <laughs> um, honestly, I 
when I first was getting into film photography, I think this was everybody's answer, if not most people. Ansel Adams um, was one of my favorites. He was super overrated. I know. Yeah. I just, I love Yosemite. Yosemite is like my favorite place in the entire world thus far. And he just like got me inspired to shoot Mm -hmm. more so. Um, Would I say he's my favorite now? Not necessarily. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have a, I don't think I have a favorite. I think I draw a lot of influence from a lot of different types of photographers and I don't, I'm not like hyper fixated on one person who like does a style I really like. I just am like, oh, I like aspects of this thing that they did or this person shot a really good street shot of somebody on the subway or this was a really beautiful landscape. I just like, I just, I don't know if I have a favorite. There's so many that are doing different. Oh, that's a hard one. That is really hard. Y'all are asking me the, the toughies. The that's, real a really, tough ones. that's a really political answer there. Yeah. That's like, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because I do have a favorite, but I don't want to say who the favorite is. Because no, I but, truly but, don't, but, though. That's the thing. I swear. I I'm swear. It's Vivian Meyer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she is great, but like, I just don't, I don't know if I have a favorite. Hold on. I'm so sorry. My lovely photographer I'm working for tomorrow morning is texting me. Give me okay. one second. Deal with that. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, wow. Now I have so many things to think about. Well, you know, take your time. No, I mean, okay. <clears throat> While you're thinking about that. Yes. Adam Vance photo. Who? His, I'm just kidding. Uh, Adam. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Adam, I love you. Just kidding. It was a joke. Adam Vance photo has the most guy with camera question of the night. Uh, okay. What focal length are we rocking? in 2024 we're rocking i think kind of okay i'm obsessed with i think this is my 80 millimeter what is it no 75 millimeter on my brawn bond over there but the 45 on the mamiya 645 kind of fire Mm. I'm dig just a little bit wider, a little bit more you can do with it. I like her. I'm gonna play around with her. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Yeah. But if we're using the Pentax 67, the what is that? The 80 to 105. Oh. Oh, for portraits. Oh. That's the one. Yeah. Those are some good choices. Pretty good, right? Um, Name Douglas wants to know how much mm. you love shooting in Brooklyn. <laughs> Loaded question. You know I love shooting in Brooklyn. You know this. You know the answer already. I love it more than anything. I, I got to say a shout out to Point Loma Nazarene University. You guys got the dopest dark room that I've seen in, in quite a while. And, uh, Hell yeah. Yeah. You guys rock. If you're in San Diego and you want to go to a good film, like photog- film photography program, check out PLNU. Yeah. I don't get paid for it. What? Oh, uh, so have you had enough time with Pete's question? <sighs> Pete! <laughs> I mean, you um... can be like fuck that question i don't want no, to answer no i want to answer that question okay it's just who whom stove dream portrait session but mine would be with bob ross. <sighs> with who bob ross yo that's kind of a fire answer right yeah see now i'm like I because then can I talk happy a little Merlin. 
And there would be no mistakes. There would be no mistakes. No. None. <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Oh my god, I can literally What about Ansel Adams? The, I mean, no. the question didn't say dead or alive. So That's like, true. Yeah. You know what? I think I think I might have to take Sydney's um, recommendation here. If I had like beautiful setup, I had large format, I had studio lights, maybe like strobe sync. I had ev like I had everything I could ever want. Mm -hmm. Getting some glam shots of Timmy would be so dang cool. I mean, he's like he literally just poses for me all the time. So like, he'd be a really good model. He looks really photogenic. He is. He really is. I'm like kind of jealous. I'm like, how, how do you look so cute at all times? It's like, from licking know. his butthole all day. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> I mean, for as much as we love dogs and how great they are, they do some pretty gross shit. <laughs> they do some weird shit. That's for sure. Um, They're amazing. Yeah. But they're amazing and we love them so much and we don't deserve them, huh? Maguzi wants to know, what celebrity would you like to photograph? What celebrity? You know who would be, I think, would be really, really fun to photograph? And not just from like, oh, I like admire them or whatever it may be, because I just think it would be so much fun. Um, what? Why am I free? Oh my god, wait, hold on. I'm like, why am I forgetting your name? Because I'm on the spot. Julia Fox. Oh yeah. I think she would be just so much fun. She would just be silly and goofy and we could just like hang out and have a weird conversation and then do some weird goofy poses. I think that would be so much fun. That would be fun, yeah. Yeah. That's like what about one. you? I want to know your answer to that. Right now, I think I'd want to like take photos of Gary Oldman or Jeff Bridges. I think both of them would okay, be really yeah. interesting to take photos of and hang out with them because they're both like crazy photographers and they're both crazy dudes. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I think somebody who's going to have that personality and like be silly and goofy with you that just kind of like makes it fun yeah 100 like more in, like you're excited to like shoot it because it's like it doesn't have to be all serious you can just be a little goofy you know who do you think the worst celebrity would be to take pictures of oh god <laughs> they're gonna blacklist me if i say anybody um, <laughs> um you had something and you're like <laughs> <laughs> Um, only because it's fresh on the mind. I just, I've been watching, um, what is it called? Top Chef lately. Okay. Um, the Paul brothers. Logan oh. Paul and see, I don't even remember the other guy's name. Jake Paul. They're not even celebrities though. They're just fucking asshats that like got YouTube shit or whatever, you know. That part. Those guys. <laughs> I just think they would be the worst. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess maybe infamous because like one of them did get made fun of in that like latest South Park cred movie or whatever. Yeah, you made it. That's how you know you made it. Oh, South Park episode. This is apparently uh, Logan shoots Polaroids, so now I need to destroy all of my Polaroid cameras and burn all of my film. <laughs> That's it. That was my last straw. That is. That's it. Where's my Polaroid? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Shenzu says Gary Busey. I think Gary Busey would actually Gary be fucking hilarious to take pictures of because he's so unhinged. Oh my god! Didn't he just do that weird ass pose? Is that who I'm? Yeah, he's a fucking crazy guy. Like I don't know what. He's a fucking he crazy. Guy. <laughs> yeah, he he went like bad shit. Eric Andre, mm -hmm. that's a good one. I Eric, think. Oh, that would be a good one. Well, but that could go either way because, like, he could be fun to take photos of, but, like, he could also be kind of fucked up. 
maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. So it'd be it'd be kind of scary. <laughs> you wouldn't know what you were getting. You have to be on your toes at all times. Oh, you're thinking of William Defoe. I'm I'm thinking of William. Yeah, William Defoe is who I'm thinking of. And whoever said that, you're in my freaking oh, mind because that pose with the hands behind the back and the spread out lit, like iconic. That Pete Madden Jr. said that one. He's a smart. He's in my brain at all times. He just gets me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Gary Busey would be insane. That would be a little, a little terrifying. He would be insane, but I think that one could be like an interesting time. Yes. Yeah. Depending on like where he's at. Yeah. But I, I mean, that yeah. could happen with anyone. Everyone can be a little unhinged. True. then. Yeah. yeah. We're allowed. We're human. Yeah, we're something. <laughs> we're, we're something, that's for sure. You, human, human be kind of crazy. Um, shit. I totally sure. forgot what I was about to say. I'm like, sorry, I'm really out of practice with the, the chat game. Um, I know. It's, been it's okay. It's no, it's fine. Good. We're just two friends having a, a FaceTime that's being streamed everywhere. That's it. That's all this is. Yeah. We, we've got like you know a handful of people just watching us you know hi friends this is really reminding me a lot of my like hotel experiences the last few days where it's like i don't know if you've spent a lot of time in hotels you see yeah there's always that one chair that's pointed at the bed yes yes <laughs> one lonely little chair yeah I, I saw some guy make a tiktok about it where he took like a series of photos of the cuck chair. That's what he calls them. The no, cuck. he did not. And I could not unhear it after he called it the cuck chair. And now whenever I look at it, I'm like, how many men? Or how women? many? <laughs> how many of y'all? Chair and watched. Just watched. <laughs> now we're all going to only be thinking about that. Thank you. Thank you so much, random TikToker. Yeah, so every time you say, <laughs> and thank you, Marlon, to this, you're going to see that chair and be like, what the fuck happened in here? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh my God, that reminds me of. Do you remember that show on MTV, uh, Room Raiders? No, I've never seen that one. Oh my God. Nasty. They raided the rooms of people, they would like basically kidnap them out of their own house. And then they would raid the room and like use black light on like their beds and shit. And I was like, man, I literally, we did not need to be seeing all that. No, no, because I know fucked up shit happens in a lot of the, yeah, I just don't need to have receipts for it. Like, no, thanks. Um, One show I have been watching a lot lately, and I I don't know how to feel about enjoying watching it. Oh, God. Love on the Spectrum. Oh my god. Yeah, there was a guy from San Francisco on the first season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old and he was dude. like this, yeah, he, he was, was so like, sweet. He was so cute. When they took the photos and it was like super windy and he's just like mm. I know. I literally am so obsessed with him. He's so sweet. Oh, I love it. There's like a few people on it where I'm just like, oh my god, you guys are too much. Like I don't know if like you're just fucking with us or if this is just like legit how you are all the time and then some of them are just so goddamn cute like i'm just like oh you're just so fucking adorable it's wholesome i don't know how i feel about like i don't know it's just does every single like i don't get me wrong i love like reality love lust shows whatever i like i'm about the dating shows yeah i love them we have thousands of them (laughs) And we just keep finding more and more like categories to put people in to like make a show for them. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I think I'm still going to watch. That'd be really interesting is like a show. Cause like, you know, so many ladies these days or, you know, people love like fucking murder shows. Right. Oh yeah. So obsessed. What about a dating show? That matches murder obsessed people with, with murderers. real murderers. <laughs> You're on to something. 
Somebody yeah. fund this man's idea. <laughs> right now, this brain, it's available. Come find me at Merlin DB. Stop. <laughs> this is no <laughs> on X. If you sift through all of the porn that is on there, you'll you'll find me. You can find me on Instagram or you know. Um, yeah, hit me on my beeper. Beeper. <laughs> oh my it's god. Like they're all dead at the end. I mean, we're all dead in the end, anyways. Like, you know, at, at the end of the day, that, that'd be the TV, you know. Were those there were those people too that were like so obsessed with the serial killers when they went on trial too. Yes. They were like, wow, he's like Ted Bundy. Oh my god, he's so hot. It's like he murdered people. Are you okay? <laughs> like what? And he wasn't even he wasn't even hot, okay? He wasn't even hot. Oh, I've seen he pictures. He wasn't hot. Um Maguzi hmm. is wondering what kind of music Hi. are you into currently? Currently, okay. So I was gonna say I have like set genres that I listen to, like I'm just constantly listening to, or certain artists I listen to constantly, and they are just on repeat. But lately I've been into um a lot of duran jones and the indications and like stuff along that vein kind of like more soulful funky um it's just like really like makes me feel calm and happy and yeah i'm just loving that style and genre of music lately it's been fabulous where have you oh you oh Do we, back. there you're back fabulous okay. You glitched for a second, but you're good now. Yeah, that sounds like a fun one. Yeah, it's good. I've been, I've been stuck on the new Chemical Brothers album. Ooh, okay. I didn't um, know they even put out a new album. Oh, it's a good one. Um, the There's a track on it, Goodbye, is my current listen to it until I hate it and then never listen to the album again for a few years kind of track, right? right? Yeah. This is okay, I'll have to check it out. Um. Okay, we're coming up close to the end here, so we've got time for one last question. <gasps> Who's it gonna time, be? Time stamp. Time stamp. Um, how has film as a hobby influenced your social interactions? Just had a discussion recently about how it has made a major positive impact for me and a friend as introverts. Thoughts? Yep. A hundred percent agree. So. I've always been very shy, very introverted. Like that has been me since popping out the womb. Like I am just small, petite, tiny, scared, shy little girl. Um, but I've been, you know, pushing myself to come out of my shell a little bit more year after year after year. And I really feel like when I moved back to the Bay Area, with like knowing maybe like five people tops and then like living with two of those five people. Um, I just had a very, very small social circle and I really just, I was like lost. I was like, what am I gonna do? Who am I gonna meet? Like, what am I just gonna be like kicking it by myself this whole time? Um, and then I just like met just a couple people here and there. Uh, the first few people I met were like JP, Jose, um, Jose Garcia. Um, and they just really welcomed me into this community of photographers in the Bay Area and introduced me to even more people. And then I got to see like instant photo walks, um, just regular photo walks. We did the Bay Area Film Photo Walk once a year. So it was like this big group of people that would come together, even from out of town, out of state. Um, I think it's really had a really good positive impact on me. And it's made me really um, more, more so wanting to be social with people and meet new people and learn about their journeys and their experiences. And, you know, same thing that we're doing right now, just kind of like learn about them as a human being and what what brought you to where you are and i just think it's so cool and also like side note that also relates to this um i'm oh my gosh i'm like a week away from being um two years sober that's amazing so, yeah i have not um been drinking and that was kind of like a scary thing for me because i was i never felt like i was 
ever like overindulging or anything like that. But I just, I, for my body, I wasn't feeling good anytime I was drinking. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why do I want to feel like shit every time I'm drinking alcohol? And I, I don't. Um, so I decided to stop and I was like really nervous that that was going to make me more shy and more introverted and not talk to people when I went out. But I think it's kind of forced me to be more um, outgoing and more socialize with people and just like be myself and not rely on alcohol to make me bubbly and like me, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think yeah. both of those factors have kind of played in together hand in hand to kind of like lead me to where I am right now. That's really amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to get all sentimental, but yeah no and i i think that's an excellent note to sort of close close off the the chat with is that you know yeah. you don't always need substances substances to like you know enhance yourself you, know, you can just yeah. get high on your own supply <laughs> that's right brother um hey and also no hate to anybody who does like i 100%. no judgment here like i i miss my mezcal don't get me wrong that's but I don't miss how it makes me feel like stomach wise and like migraine wise. So yeah. this boy had the worst hangover this morning. Cause yeah. <laughs> so traveling sucks. girl, I get it. I hear you. But thank you for hanging out with me for yeah. the first chat back in, into the season and Very uh, honored. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Bay area in yes. um, like a month or so. Somewhere around there. Yeah, a little like a month and a half. Month and Coming a half. up quick. Um, I'm gonna be doing these monthly instead of weekly because weekly was a little too intense. And hey. uh, yeah. Um, so next month we're gonna have new old Polaroid joining us, Alexandria. Yes, Alexandria. Mm. We love her. Yeah. So tune in um, for that. We'll have some posts coming out. They'll likely, I'll, I'll probably do these like, you know, near the end of the month on a Thursday. So yeah, the chat's back. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me, Lauren. And I hope yes. that goes well with the project you're working on tomorrow. And Thank you. Uh, any closing remarks for the folks? Yes. Um, Timmy and I love you very much. We love you all. Um, miss you if you don't live here and i haven't seen you in a while um or even if i have seen you in a while um love you miss you care about you have a wonderful rest of your week i love everyone too thanks for hanging out with us we'll see you <laughs>